guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Healing Honey. So today I want to share with you guys about one of my favorite topics, self-love, self-care. These are going to be 10 wellness tips that we can practice throughout 2024. Happy New Year. What are your intentions this year? I'm sending you so much just like good energy and love into your life. So these are things that I've been practicing that have literally transformed my life and helped me glow up like from the inside out. When we feel good inside, now we can show up as our best self like out there in the world. And so these are things that help me that I practice in my life. And I want you guys to share with me like, what do you guys do to feel good? And what do you do for wellness? Like emotional wellness, your physical wellness? Like how do you feel your best? How do you take care of yourself? Drop a comment, let me know. So you guys, I'm going to link my video on how I accidentally lost 30 pounds <laughs> because it's true. Like some of the things that I'm going to share with you in this video have helped me to lose weight. It just happened naturally by practicing these things. Self-love, self-care. These things are going to make an impact in your life internally, but also you're going to be able to see it externally. You're just going to feel good, <laughs> right? And so the first wellness tip that I have to share with you guys is about food and one thing that I'm going to be practicing throughout 2024, it's a little shift, but it's going to make such a big difference. First of all, intermittent fasting I've been doing for a while. So I normally don't have breakfast until about 11 a.m. And when I do, I make sure that it's savory instead of sweet. Now I'm far from perfect, but the majority of the time, 90% of the time, I'm going to reach for something savory. And things that have been helping me are things like a green juice like I shared with you guys um, about Four Sigmatic I use their um, organic healthy gut I'll put it right here but just like having a green juice or a smoothie plant-based because you don't want to have something like dairy to start your day or any animal products it's just gonna clog you up in my opinion and you guys know I'm vegetarian so intermittent fasting having a savory breakfast so instead of sweet so if you have a smoothie like I'm gonna throw in some dark cherries, like that's my favorite, like frozen cherries are my thing right now for sure. But I'm gonna throw in like some frozen kale too. Some flax seeds, uh, chia seeds, like to get the protein. If you have protein powder, that's super helpful. And then unsweetened plant milk or water. Don't add sugar, <laughs> basically. Or if you stay away from flour and sugar, you are on the right track. Like if you wanna glow up, if you wanna lose weight, and if you wanna feel good, stay away from flour, like white flour, even wheat flour. If you're going to consume wheat flour, make sure it's organic. That's important because they're spraying the wheat with chemicals, pesticides. So if you're gonna have a flat wheat flour, make sure it's organic, but ideally, no flour. If you're gonna reach for a flour, make it coconut flour or almond flour, something like that. And no sugar, you guys, sugar is the devil. And so like a small change you can make is instead of having a super sugary breakfast, think about it. The standard American diet is like a bowl of cereal, <laughs> which is like, there's no nutrition. There's synthetic dyes, like food coloring, it's fake food. It's not even food. Like it's not alive. It's made in a factory and it's like little sugar pebbles, right? With with uh, cow's milk. Like that is eh, a no. Or I've shared with you guys before, like a tofu scramble. If you're feeling more hungry, but make it savory, right? So like tofu can be similar to eggs. You have your protein there. You can season it up however you like. Throw in some black beans or some potatoes or some veggies, like a veggie tofu scramble for breakfast. If you're gonna have bread, make sure it's sourdough. And this has been a game changer for me. Have a savory breakfast. Sourdough bread with like avocado and then throw in like, throw on top like some lime, some sea salt, chia seeds or poppy seeds. Lean towards a savory breakfast to break your fast. And then of course like tons of water, a green juice, like just starting the day right for wellness this whole year, who's down? Like, let me know. I say sourdough bread because it's healthier for your gut. Or if another healthy option for you is the Ezekiel bread, which is flourless. They, they make it with like flaxseed and things like that. Also coffee, because you guys know I love my coffee, I do. And 
now that I like live a sober lifestyle, I feel so giddy and happy. <laughs> like I feel the caffeine basically. If I do have coffee, like, but a big game changer and a tip for wellness is to just avoid coffee creamer. Especially coffee mate, no shade. You guys read the label when you go to the store. If you don't know what that long word is, like, do you wanna put that in your body? The more conscious I become, the more I'm into wellness and I learn about health, I just become more of a conscious consumer. And now, oh my gosh, I have to start looking at the makeup that I wear too, which is like heartbreaking. Cause so I'm like, what are these? So like, that's the next phase, but maybe for 2025, if you're into natural makeup, draw me some links. Let me know what brands are you rocking with? Like, please let your girl know, because I feel like, I feel like that's what's next, right? Because our skin is an organ, it's gonna absorb it. The more you're on your wellness journey, it's gonna affect every part of your life internally the air your water tap water the shower water what you eat every what you watch what you consume right like we're glowing up for reals for reals <laughs> okay so anyways coffee avoid coffee mate avoid some like um fake creamers avoid dairy in my opinion yes i'm vegetarian but if you're for animal rights then we already know that they have these cows locked up getting them pregnant over and over and over like they can't speak so they need humans to speak up for them and say it's not right humans are not superior to animals period dot this is my mindset and so i don't feel good consuming dairy or milk even though i'm vegetarian yes the cow has not been killed but they're chained up they're being used and impregnated and you know like where the milk comes from out their body it's for the calf we're not baby caps period dot so i do love cheese but i have to try to break away i already warned my daughter like we're gonna transition to like breaking we've broken free of eggs and like next it's gonna be cheese but we're not there yet if you are gonna consume dairy then my recommendation to you is to make sure it's organic um something that's been helping me because i'm not gonna drink my coffee just black not me my stepdad does i can do it okay it's too bitter but you know and let me know your thoughts on coffee because i know that some people say it's not healthy but i mean if i think about it it's bitter and that and it helps you it helps you keeps you regular right so i feel that it is incredibly healthy if you don't overdo it and i normally have like one cup every other day and i see it as like a little treat i throw some oat milk in there and I try to keep it at that, but if I want it sweeter, then I'll throw in some real brown sugar. Or you can sweeten it instead with um, agave or maple syrup, like just depending. But we just want to see sugar as the double. And I know it's so good, but see it as a treat. Like yesterday was my birthday, so, and I'm not going to blame my birthday. Like I, I love sweets. Sugar is in everything, so I have to be conscious aware and see the effect that it can have in our body like they're putting it in everything so like i tell my kid all the time like if it's coming from a fruit okay that's cool like god made that sugar right Gaia did but produced it it's natural and like that should be the treat if i do stay away from sugar for a while and then i taste a banana it tastes incredibly sweet and that's how you, that's how we want to condition ourselves to get back to our natural state to see sweet natural sweet Things that are naturally sweet are sweet. And things that are super overloaded with sugar and toxins harming and attacking our body is like, eh, no, you don't wanna do it, right? So, okay, so for wellness and when it comes to food, coffee, stay away from the artificial creamers, use something plant-based, or if you're gonna do something dairy, make sure it's organic, but stay away from natural flavors, you guys, because those are chemicals and I read something that it was like, it, they could put up to like 4,000 chemicals in this and call it natural flavor. So stay away from that. Um, read the label and I will drop down below some of my favorite content creators that teach me about health and how to eat right. If you care about yourself and want to take care of yourself, teach your kids and feel good, then we have to learn these things because trust and believe we're being plotted on. So you got to be like, 
you got to stand up for yourself and learn these things, then practice them. And you have a lot of support online to do it. Okay, guys, I film with the sun, so it's starting to go down because we're in the middle of winter. So yeah, where are you guys in the world? Drop me a comment, let me know. Okay, so you guys, I'm in my 30s now. So how we're gonna glow up is to be on our skincare game. It's beautiful. When you start to take care of your skin, you are glowing, baby. You are glowing. And makeup just becomes like a little bit of icing on the cake. Wait, we just talked about no flour. Okay, no. <laughs> you just naturally feel pretty and also healthy, right? And so it really starts with what you're putting into your body. I wish somebody would have told me this when I was a teenager and when I was in my early 20s. My diet, the foods I was eating was crazy. Like so much processed food, the standard American diet. And I just didn't have anyone to tell me and to teach me that what I'm putting in my mouth is what is gonna be showing up on my face. So if you're struggling with acne or anything like that, just know that what you're eating plays a huge role. Also your stress level plays a huge role. So we want to make time for self care, stay hydrated, exercise to like release the toxins through sweat. <laughs> these things i learned later in life but i've been practicing them and this is a wellness tip for 2024 is to is to take care of yourself using skincare and you guys know i'm going to lean towards natural things i got some ulta gift cards for christmas so i'm like let me go normally i'm going straight to the makeup section which i did trust me i've been to ulta like three or four times <laughs> but um i started like my first purchases were skincare and i'm proud of myself and not okay if you have oily skin, like I have naturally oily skin, it's still important to learn about hydration, but to remove all like the makeup and to feel squeaky clean, you can use something like black soap. Like African black soap is my go-to. But these days I found a cream cleanser and it has vitamin C. You guys, vitamin C is has been changing my skin. If I get any type of blemish, it might leave a darker color on my skin when it goes away. Vitamin C has been reversing that. So when I went to Ulta, I picked up this from Pacifica. This is the Glow Baby Serum Booster. It has vitamin C. It's like $18. It smells so good. I've only been using it for like seven days or eight days. And I've already seen a difference in my skin. So get yourself a vitamin C serum. Get yourself a vitamin C cleanser like to wash your face also glycolic night serum that's been helping me with my pores and also reducing dark spots so i'll only use it at night like it says and like two or three times per week <gasps> you guys one of my my favorite um skincare product that i picked up is from earth harbor mermaid milk nutrient glow moisturizer spirulina and matcha looks like this I was needing a, a daily face moisturizer. And I was gonna get the Peter, what is Rossfield? The, the, the one, the light blue container that's really popular that has like hyaluronic acid. I was asking the girl at Ulta, she recommended it too. She's like, yeah, this one's popular. And her face was like all beat, right? But on my wellness journey, I'm like, I need the natural stuff. So she's like, I never heard of them. But Earth Harbor, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're a conscious brand. like the ingredients is what sold me on this so i've been using this and my skin is loving it and it has like it'll tell you matcha and like all these natural things i'll list the ingredients right here so normally the underground stuff is better the brands that are not so popular tend to be better when it comes to moisturizing my lips and i made a whole reel on this i'm a rock with the honey especially in winter any season if your lips are dry remove the dead skin off of your lips and just get yourself some raw honey put a little bit on and your lips are going to become incredibly soft and moisturized okay healing honey honey is healing literally beautiful tastes good we want to be able to actually eat consume what we put on our body. Like if you're not willing to eat it, why are we gonna put it on our face? That's why I was talking about the makeup thing, right? So, and you know, Fenty, no shade to Fenty, I love Fenty, but MAC, 
Fenty Hourglass. You can get yourself a clear lip gloss. They're gonna charge you like $27. $30 for a clear lip gloss when you can get some honey at your cabinet and put some and be glowing and It's actually healing your lips. It's actually drawing out the moisture from the air and putting it into your lips. Okay, so <laughs> Natural skin care products Wellness tip this year the next wellness tip. I don't know what number we're on is about hair care and shout out to you if you've been rocking with me ever since I first started this channel and was creating beauty videos, especially on hair. If you guys don't know, at the end of January of 2022, I chopped off my hair. I did my second or third big chop. This is two years of growth. It grew back in, like, this is new growth. This is less than two years of growth. And if you're curious on how I keep my hair healthy, and this is especially for my brown girls, I no longer get relaxers. So I wasn't even gonna include this in this video, but I think it's important. This is a huge revelation on my self-love journey of just learning how to embrace my natural beauty, not getting relaxers. As you guys can see, my hair is straightened out right now, but that this is my natural hair straightened out. Sometimes I rock it straight, sometimes I rock it curly, sometimes I rock a wig. Be free, do you express yourself. But relaxers, perms are so damaging to your hair. And I could never get past a certain length my whole life because I was putting chemicals in my hair. So yeah, it does make it easier to work to work with. But you guys, this looks pretty good if you ask me. As far as if you want to wear it straight, right? And it's thick, shiny, healthy. What's made a huge difference is keeping it natural, learning to take care of your natural hair, but it starts with learning to love your natural texture. And if you have been getting relaxers, cut it off and start fresh. Give your natural texture a chance to shine, know what it is, love yourself. Believe it or not, growing up, my hair was a huge, um, I was very self-conscious of my hair. Schools I went to and stuff like that, I was the only brown girl, black girl in class for a long time, like from a young age. And so they would make fun of my hair. They would be like, I was different, I stood out. So my skin tone, my body shape, my hair. But a wellness tip is to take care of your natural hair and no, 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 no on relaxers because they're damaging. And when you think about it, you're taking your beautiful curl and you are chemically trying to make, you know, change it. Even straightening it, only do one pass like through your hair, right? Be gentle with your hair, love your hair, and it is gonna love you back. Grow out so beautifully, thick, healthy. Okay, so the next wellness tip I have is for my ladies. When it comes to our menstrual cycle, okay? It's, first of all, let's try to sync it with the moon. Okay, let's bleed at the full moon. Is that too deep? Drop a comment, let me know. But when it comes to hygiene products, make sure that you're using organic cotton. As far as sustainability, I have to be honest with you, pads are probably not the most sustainable. A cup is probably most sustainable. But to be honest, I use organic pads, organic cotton. It's something small that we can do, but it's just healthier for the environment and it's healthier for your body to not be absorbing. It's like sitting there in your vaginal area right so just make sure that the, the that there's no dyes there that there's no scent like perfume fragrance it should just be organic cotton down there if you are using a sustainable product props to you drop me a comment let me know what it is okay so a few more wellness tips for this year one would be to find your soul tribe like find your people when you are on a self-love journey and you're really getting to know yourself and when you're glowing up being your becoming your best self you're becoming healthier you're you know changing your lifestyle you're gravitating towards new things i guarantee you there's other people out there who are also into those things so it's not about really losing friends it's more about being attracted to people who are on your same same wave who are into the same things as you 
is beautiful. It's like a soul connection and these people you're meant to cross paths with. So don't be afraid to like put yourself out there online or follow accounts that are true to your heart and release people, things, media, content, creator, whatever, things that don't serve your highest good. Like, don't be afraid to press that unfollow. Don't be afraid to, oh, I've known this person since kindergarten. Okay, but are they good for your mental health? Like, find your soul tribe. You can do this by being your real self, by on your glow up journey, find other people, like search skincare, search organic skincare. Okay, who's making content on that? Plant-based diet or spiritual health, right? Ascension, things like this. I'm so mindful of who I follow and in return, the universe blessed me by bringing in my soul tribe, revealing people to me where I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I know you but I've never met you before, okay? Because you are, you do know each other on a soul level. So it's about deep friendship, connection, authenticity. And this is important. You wanna feel supported in your life, like supported. So even if you're single, like having friends that you can connect with or taking care of your mental health by being around like-minded people who are into growing, into wholesome things or if you're quitting weed find people who are also sober who are also on this journey because it's going to help you and it's going to help you glow up so like the last tip i have for us for wellness this year is to embrace your feminine energy by tapping into pleasure tap into pleasure make this a priority for your self care for your wellness Pleasure is important. I'm going to keep it real. A lot of religious indoctrination has programmed us to stay away from pleasure, and that's been done on purpose. I'm just here to remind you that life is all about balance. So yeah, be disciplined. Be focused. Be on your job, but make time for pleasure. Tap into your pleasure. This is your feminine energy. Play. Have fun feel good and there's endless ways to do this and I want us to make this a priority this year because guess what happens when more people tap into pleasure it's not that we become um hedonistic and all of this crazy stuff don't get confused like when more people tap into genuine pleasure the world the earth is going to be a happier place more lighthearted and the vibration is going to raise this is about feeling happy feeling joy, being in tune with your body, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to just be free and have fun. <laughs> okay, so how do you tap into pleasure? For me, swimming, being in the natural elements, especially the ocean. So what brings you joy? Like what makes you happy? Tap into things that bring you pleasure. You're allowed to do this and it's going to boost your wellness, boost your mood, boost your vibration this year. Okay, so I'm sending you so much love so much power, so much healing on your journey. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in my next video.